to be a top target and two players will be trying to be that today it's the Patriots going up against the Titans the opening kick is straight ahead so it's time to turn it over to my colleagues Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis with the call gentlemen thank you very much Larry we are here on a beautiful afternoon for football Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New England Patriots and the Tennessee Titans. Hello, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon God. As we get set here, Charles, we talk about wide receivers. You know, Larry mentioned it in the open, but that's a big spot to look at here in this one. I think you identified it perfectly because these guys have such an impact on the game nowadays because they throw the ball more than ever. And whether they're throwing it short, medium, or long, can they snatch it out of the air and create even extra yardage with run after catch? Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Nashville. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five. Brady to throw on second down. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. Third play here. This opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Brady. This is White on the screen. They find some open field here. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. James White, 69 yards, and the Pats have taken the early lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Patriot. This is Deion Lewis. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They try again with Lewis. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled except for the one the offense really wanted to run through. And that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve we saw right there. He had to pick up a first down for him, too. Mariota. 
And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Walker will be 33 when the season starts in 2017. And he's kind of having a late career renaissance, if you will, isn't he? He certainly is. He went to his second straight Pro Bowl after the 2016 season. He did it as well in 2015. Those are the first two of his career. He'd always been behind other guys. Remember when he was in San Francisco? Mm -hmm. Wasn't the primary option at tight end. But he is in Tennessee. And he's kind of a new age tight end, even mm -hmm. though he's a little bit older. Offense. Can split out, run routes like a wide receiver, but he also can do the dirty work inside as a blocker. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, there they went blitz defensively, Charles, and things were paved well coming from the linebacker position. I love the way that you described it, paved well. Oftentimes, the guy who gets home on the blitz, he's going to get all the credit. But his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. They sometimes tugged on jerseys to hold linemen to create space and gaps. And that play finished off really, really well. Well conceived, well designed, and even better executed. Third and long here for Mariota. Going for the deep ball. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off, and he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Here come the Patriots again on offense, the Super Bowl champions. And, boy, they have been able to do it a lot of times, Charles, with unsung heroes, haven't they? Look at the names that led them through the playoffs. Cordero Patterson, 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Cordero Patterson, 89 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they design every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the only way to put it in there. And that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. <laughs> so the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. And that run was what a lot of people call an explosive run. They get good yardage, solid yardage. They feel good about the whole thing, and they did it behind a two tight end set. Derrick Henry all alone. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, 57 yards. And the Titans get the quick strike touchdown. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Okay, partners, New England comes out here to take the field on offense. This is such an interesting story, how they've been able to do it year after year after year. Guys talk about parity in the NFL. Well, New England has kind of transcended that parity, and they've done it with guys that you don't normally think of as household names. The parts keep changing for New England. That's the amazing part on offense, all right? Offensive linemen change, receivers change, running backs change. We know the one constant is Tom Brady, mm -hmm. and that's a huge deal for them. But to be able to do it at what you call the parity times, and you're exactly right, everyone's supposed to be pretty equal. New England still a top 10 offense year in and year out. In 2016, they were number four, and that helped, that helped them with a the number one ranked defense as well. Now Brady throwing on second down. 
And right side caught. Hold it. him off and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five and that's exactly what you want on a first down run pick up five yards bring up second and five the defensive line though they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack it'll only be a gain of a yard and it sets up a third down and four now Let's see what the defense dials up here, third and four. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up the play action and throw the football. You control the clock because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. And now they call on Steven Goskowski. His career long, 57 yards, set just a year ago. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. 20, 10, 5, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Cordero Patterson, 76 yards. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 20. Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So there you go, holding by the offense, and that'll push them back changes everything now as you try and figure out what your playbook has for you. Longer yardage situations, tougher to execute and pick up first downs. To throw, it's Brady. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The wideout, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. Oh, well, you mind if we go off topic for a second? No, let's you know go. I like to do that let's randomly. Do uh, AFC playoff contenders for this year that didn't make it last season. Who do you have that might get in? Well, I think Cincinnati's got to be considered there. Maybe they'd have a, an offseason that's calm, and they go into this season and try and get back to the playoffs where they've been perennials. How about Denver? 
Yeah. Remember last year, they didn't have the quarterback to start. Trevor Simeon played pretty well overall, but maybe they can get solidified there and ride that strong defense right back into the playoffs. I'm going to give you a couple a little bit off the pace. Indianapolis cannot afford to squander Andrew Luck, one of the better young quarterbacks in the game. They've got to get back to the playoffs. And Buffalo, brand new head coach, brand new people running the ball club. Let's see if they can figure it out, because I think defensively they can be awfully strong. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack, and on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Throwing the slant pattern here, complete. Cordero Patterson, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Cordero Patterson on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And they're able to up the lead by one more. Patriots gearing up to go now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You set up very well for the rest of the drive. Brady going to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will have the highlights and analysis of this first half from our studios in Orlando. And I have a feeling those highlights will be pretty one-sided, too. Yeah, I think you're right, partner. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman from 17 yards out, and the Patriots continue to roll. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes... The Patriots offense now. They worked their way back onto the field, and they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Incomplete. But there's no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. They can pass. A bullet throw, but incomplete. James White, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. And it's fourth down. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go on fourth down now with Brady. 
Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And the possession is theirs at their own. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot before half for Brady. And Gronkowski's got it, complete over the middle. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. And hello, I guess Larry's halftime show is button through. And we are moving on and ready to go for the third quarter. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard. A look at the offense now here, coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, yeah. we got the deep. We got Rob Gronkowski. There he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown. New England, Rob Gronkowski, 65 yards, and the Patriots are pouring it on. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. And that one is incomplete. He just dropped it. But they're up big on the scoreboard, so maybe he can chuckle about later. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Brady now to throw. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. Brandon, with the way things are going with Tom Brady finding Gronk as many times as he has in this game and the team is winning, you think at some point maybe even Brady would do the Gronk dance? <laughs> well, if he does that Gronk dance, Davis, that means you have to do that Gronk dance. 
Trust me, partner. No one wants to see me do the Gronk dance. <laughs> Your wife? <laughs> no. No one. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. He's got some space. Now Brady, the throw left side, complete to Hogan. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On second down, here's Brady. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. A gain of six there on first. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. They come out here in the eye, and they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Now a handoff here to his running back. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know, the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. They'll run for it. This is White. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. They'll run. This is White. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon. Back now in Nashville. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Third and goal now. The defense. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. A great play there. Taking it in. And the Patriots continue to roll. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It's <laughs> taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well. He's got a man complete. Holding offense. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him through the flag. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. Going to give this time to the tailback. 
And he goes across the 20 to the 22. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and 10. That was a good, strong run there. And while it won't pick up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. A positive run. They got a good push by their guys up front. Maybe something they can build on. Try to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And on that one, with six defensive backs, did he need to be more careful throwing the football? I mean, I guess obviously hindsight he did, but... Yeah, hindsight, but even in foresight, when you got six defensive backs... Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Taking it right down Broadway. The 40. Past the 20. And he takes it all the way back. And this crowd can't believe what they're seeing. Things go wrong even after a touchdown in this one. knocked out. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. The big man, Jarrell Casey, in on the stop. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Third down and eight now. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They get him that time thanks to the safety blitz as he sank for a loss of four. Here's Ryan Allen now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the... And how about this, a fake? And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And did the Titans get this? Yes, Tennessee football. So the onside kick is recovered, and you... timeouts left still a chance if they can somehow get this one back and this is secured by the Patriots the risk reward of the onside kick when you don't get it the risk comes out to play and here they gave up great field position and that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them and field position leads you to that type of play calling in whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. All right, here we go. Ah! Hoyer. And he rifles one incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. And it's third and five. And the offense looking to pick up the first down 
after the second down incompletion. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. And a loose football. It's picked up by the Titans, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, I guess... Looks like he'll throw here. And that's caught. It's Hogan. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Here's Hoyer. Hard throw incomplete. Goskowski now for the Pats field goal try. This from 54 yards away. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Those really long field goals, when they are made, they are... Patriots. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer... Now, hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll cut it to the right sideline. And now the rookie's free. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A great effort there with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Oh, and it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they had two more. Of explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Nashville.